Hi, this is Richard. I'm going to be talking about what we can do with static and dynamic group. From the home screen, underneath the groups tab, dynamic groups are any group that is built off of a keyword. The only way to get into this group is by texting into a keyword, and the only way out is by texting stop and opting out of that group. Um, these groups are automatically created off of the keyword campaign. Um, we have to manually create these groups for each of the other uh, opt-in campaigns. Um, it's very simple to do. We're just going to hit new, name the group, add dynamic group, and then we're going to make sure that the group that we're wanting to work on at the moment is highlighted. So we're going to highlight the group that we just created and select the corresponding keyword. In this case, I want the autoresponder auto campaign that we created previously. There it is. I can click update and add those members to this group. Another thing that we can do with dynamic groups is section off um, groups of opt-ins based by time ranges. So I'm going to go ahead and select that autoresponder group that we just created. Now let's say that I only want this to collect people that opt in during the month of April. I can do this by selecting this date range, selecting update, and then now the only people that will go into this group are the people that text in that keyword during that time range. And you can make that time range as small or as large as you'd like to make it a few minutes, a few months, whatever the case may be to suit your campaign needs. Now also note that uh, those people that are text messaging in, all of them will still go in the main group um, that's created off of that keyword and then they will additionally go into any groups you create for those date ranges. Next let's look at how we can do static groups and static group members. Um, static groups are created by uploading members um, into them. You can upload members one at a time by selecting new, filling in this information, or you can upload a whole uh, CSV file at a time. Um, one of the good things about uploading a CSV file is that you can simultaneously create the group that these members will go into and upload the whole list at the same time. It's very simple. You just select the CSV file from your local hard drive, name the group, and then click upload and that's done. Uh, thanks for listening.